up y'all today obviously if you can't already tell before we even get into it my nails are like super ratch today like i went to a water park this weekend and it, it just they're fucking ratchet like this one is just completely gone put your judging eyes away i'm going to get them done either today or tomorrow but just throwing that out there they're super ratch on to the video anyways if you can't already tell it's gonna be my brow routine uh, so what, wouldn't that be weird if I just like did all my makeup and you know just like left it like this and like did nothing to my brows like how weird that would be what a difference brows make am I right ladies so a few of you guys have asked for a brow routine um, because a lot of you have noticed I've been doing my brows a little bit differently lately if you have been with me for the long haul you know that I used to not have brows I was a child of the 90s and you know one little line of hair basically was like it little sperm brows were what was up for the 90s so when I was younger I had these like huge full bushy brows like what would be thought of today is like oh beautiful like model brows um and growing up in the 90s that was like not cool so I plucked them to death and waxed them to death and they stopped growing they stopped the front of them I didn't really touch that much um i.e sperm brows you know what I mean bushy front little little tail uh, so the front of them wasn't too bad, but the back of them, like my brows used to stop growing about right here. If you watch some of my older videos, you will see that. So as I said, those of you who have been with me for a while know that I used to use pomades and stuff like that because I basically had to draw my brows in. I've never been able to get down with powders because the problem with powders for me has always been because my hair kind of sits like this in my face all day. Um, the tail of my brow would be gone by the end of the day and nothing except for pomades would stay on my face because they're like smudge proof and waterproof and you know whatever else so a pomade would be the only thing that I was able to use I've never found a powder aside from the one I'm about to show you that's actually stayed on my face for the whole entire day and sometimes even when I like rub my head or something it still will stay there which is why I love this so like I said my brows used to stop growing from like this point on and what kind of turned that around was a friend of mine had turned me on to a lash serum called grande lash MD I do have like a review and kind of demo and you know a video where I talk about this serum and I will try to hunt that down and link it down below it is a really old video um, they have no idea who I am BT dubs like they don't know me I seen like on my little YouTube trafficker thing that they've watched a couple of my videos but I'm not affiliated with them they don't know me y'all know I always tell you what's up um, but a friend of mine started carrying this in her salon and she started using it on her eyelashes and she was like oh my god you have to use this shit it's so good my eyelashes are in my brows blah 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 um, and I went in to get my hair done by her and one of her stylists in her salon had like a really high hairline, you know, like up here, how some people have like a receding hairline like I do. And so she started putting it right here because she was like, well, if it makes my lashes grow, maybe it'll make my hair grow. And she had this like huge chunk of hair where her hair had started growing because she was putting this serum like on her head right there. So I was like, oh my God, if it makes your hair grow on your head why would it not make my brows grow so I started putting it on my brows I used it in my brows for about six months and legit you guys my brows basically went back to like my 15 year old brows like they were bushy AF um, I used it for like six months and then I started getting really lazy with it and I noticed that my brows even though I wasn't using it consistently had continued to grow and then I had just stopped using it altogether and they still continued to grow so I don't know what to do with that is I don't know if it just like opened up some pore or like hair cuticle I'm not a scientist I don't know the chemistry behind it but that is what happened with me and that is what worked for me so I like I said I will leave the review to this little product down below I will also link their website down below as I said before I'm not affiliated you guys always know I tell you that shit so on into the brow routine a lot of you guys have noticed I've been doing my brows differently um, and I have and I have <laughs> and I have I've been going for I guess a more natural look but natural for like me because you know I used to have basically like the Instagram brow where it was like very sharp and defined and drawn on and I don't get me wrong I absolutely fucking love that type of brow but lately um, 
it's just been so much easier to do it this way. And I'm not gonna lie, it does help to have hair there. I also told you guys um, a few videos ago that I was gonna show you how to tint them. I tinted my brows probably about a month ago. Um, so I think either the end of this week or next week, I am gonna film how I tint them. So that will come after this one, but I wanted to show you guys how I fill them in first. Um, when they're not freshly tinted because when they're freshly tinted you don't have to fill them in as much Which by the way if you've never tinted your brows, I definitely suggest you do it You can either do it yourself at home or you can go to like a benefit bar and have them done Personally, I don't like going to the benefit bar because they do Do the full brow when they tint them and it makes your brows look very blocky for a couple of weeks And I don't really care for that. So on into the routine because I talk too damn much Jesus but this is honestly you guys like the easiest brow routine of life so basically what I do is use the bodyography trio that I got my boxy charm a while ago this is in the color essential um, you can use this if you have light medium or dark hair I also use Anastasia number 12 brush you really don't need a $20 brush you can use like any brush that kind of fits your needs or any brush of your liking and then the last thing I use is something that probably nobody else uses in their brows because it's not intended for your brows and that is the benefit their real tinted primer I love this so much for my brows obviously if you have like blonde hair or red hair or whatever you're not gonna be able to use it but I do love the way this just holds my brows so good it gives them so much definition it makes them look like very natural and feathery and stuff like that so that's why I like this product so much it is perfect if you have black hair because it's not black but it's so dark brown that you know it makes your brows match your hair basically basically all I do like I said easiest fucking brow routine of life is take the dark powder I have nothing in my brows right now I just comb through them and I'm gonna have to zoom in hold on okay much better hopefully it stays in focus so I just dip into my little powder here tap my brush off and basically what I do is just start at the bottom of my brow I'm not gonna be able to talk when I do this by the way I start at the bottom of my brow and I draw a line And then on the outer edge, I think is where I do it a little bit differently than a lot of people because I see a lot of people coming up and then going down. I don't like to do that because I feel like it pulls my face down and draws my eyes down. So basically what I will do is instead of coming up here and then going down, I just kind of bring it out like so. And can you see like where my eyebrow piercings were? Like that's how much brows. I had when I was younger like they were just all fucking over the place girl so then I'll take whatever's left on the brush I won't dip in again and I'll go sometimes I'll even knock some of that powder off and I'll go to the top of my brow and I just kind of try to follow the shape of my brow what I also want to mention is when I groom my brows I know a lot of people when they groom tell you to brush them down and then cut them and then brush them up and cut them I actually do not do that and I stopped doing that probably about four or five months ago and the reason is because all of this length right here is giving me fullness in my tail area do you know what I'm saying so if I went and cut all of this down it's gonna be like more sparse than it is so I use the length of my brows to kind of fill in that area do you know what I mean kind of fill in that that sparseness so then after I have my outline done I will go back into my little powder here tap my brush off and then I basically just fill that shit in and rather than like you know just like coating the whole thing um, I do semi try to make um, the appearance of kind of like hair strokes rather than like filling it all in if you know what I mean so I'll just do like little strokes get my hairs back where they're going do the bottom and I do really like this bodyography um, powder 
color, the color of the powder. And then another thing I do is I will stop about right here. I won't go in any further because I then use the brush to kind of blend that in. Because if you take your color all the way to the beginning of your eyebrows, it's just gonna look like too blocky up there. So I'll just fill in any kind of sparse areas and then brush them through and then I take what I put in the middle here and just kind of brush that in and then I will take the brush and do little hair strokes up here just to kind of fill that in a little bit more once I'm done with that I then take my their real tinted primer I know this is crazy, but I'm telling you, it's so good, you guys, it's so good. So then I take my primer and I take the little ball on the end and I will just kind of brush through them and then I'll use the brush out here, not in my fucking head here. And I'll just kind of try to get all those little baby hairs in place. Then when it comes to the front of my brow, whatever is left on that brush, I will then do one of these numbers just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. I will tell you guys, I do cut right here. Like when I pull them straight up, see how that's like a little bit longer right there? I will cut that down um, eventually once it gets too long, but that is all I cut off. I don't go down and cut, go up and cut. This little front area is the only thing that I will cut off. And then I just brush this little mascara through and that is what's up that's it that's all i do for my brows so you're, hopefully i stayed in focus the whole time let's keep our fingers crossed so i'm gonna go ahead and go do my other brow off camera and then i will be right back all right y'all so that is it that's what's up that is my brows um i used to if you guys watch like my older brow routines and stuff i used to like carve them out and do things like that but lately i've just been liking them looking a little bit more natural and almost to the point of unkept like especially this one um my hairs just kind of go all over the place because as i said i don't like trim them or anything anymore so but i've kind of been like digging that like natural wispy-esque brow look if you know what i'm saying so that is that that's what's up with my brows this is them this is a routine so if you guys have any questions or anything like that you can link them below link them below no you can leave them below if there are any like brow powders that you guys use that you really really like and that like stay in your brows all day i mean granted it probably does help that I actually have hairs for the powder to adhere to now, but I haven't, since I've been using this powder, I haven't tried any newer powders. There's like a fuzzy or something. I haven't tried like the Anastasia powders or anything like that. I know in the past when I used to use them, they didn't stay, but that was because they were on bare skin. So I don't know if it would be different now. Do you guys use the Anastasia powders or any other brow powders? If you do, let me know. Anyways, that's it. That's what's up with my brows. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be doing like a tinting routine that will be coming up shortly. If you've never tinted your brows, I definitely suggest you do so, girl. If you guys wanna wait till the video, that's cool too. Um, I will just drop out there that I've used all kinds of different hair dyes on my brows. I do use one specific thing right now, but I used to use just like regular hair dye. Like when I dye my hair, I would dye my brows. So don't be afraid to use that, um, especially with the summer coming, like if you're swimming and stuff like that. And so I just love tinting them now. Oh my God, it makes such a difference. You would be so shocked as to how much brow you actually do have there because that hair dye grabs like all those little blonde hairs that you can't see, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, that I would leave that for the other video. So that is it. That is what's up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on all my social media here. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.